It was a raid that was supposed to last for 30 minutes. Then an American Black Hawk helicopter was shot down. And the entire mission changed. There's a city of people out there wanting to kill us. It turned into the biggest American firefight since the war in Vietnam. You could feel in the air this seething sensation of people wanting to kill you. I can't go back out of that city. I'm going to die tonight. He didn't want to hear anyone scream anymore. The Battle of Mogadishu would alter the course of American foreign policy. We all reacted with anger and horror as an armed Somali gang desecrated the bodies of our American soldiers. And forever change American history. Jeff Struker is ordered to immediately evacuate Todd Blackburn to the base. We loaded Todd Blackburn in the middle Humvee, in the cargo Humvee, with absolutely no protection around him. I led these, this three-vehicle convoy out of the target building. As soon as I made that turn on the main road, we got hit from every direction. PFC Paulson was swinging his 50 cal in every direction, just trying to shoot back in 50 directions at once. So I shouted to Paulson and to Pilla, Paulson, turn your gun to the left. Pilla, you take everything to the right. The next intersection that we hit, there was a man, a Somalian, with, a, with an AK-47 within eight feet of our vehicle. He pointed it at um, Paulson's back. He was going to shoot Paulson. Dominic Pilla saw him point that weapon at, at Paulson. That guy saw Dominic Pilla with his uh, machine gun pointed at him. And they looked at each other eye to eye, and then they both fired. And both people dropped dead. Pila was shot in the head. He fell over into the lap of Specialist Monahan. At that same moment, my platoon sergeant called me on the radio. And he said, hey, Sergeant Struker, what's going on? Where are you? And I said, I've got one guy who's hit, and he's down. And at this time on the radio, there's a, a, a hundred other people talking, having a hundred different conversations at the same time. All of it's going on in the background. So he called me again, and he said, who is it, and what's his status? And I didn't want to say it, because I knew the effect that it was going to have. I paused for a minute. I said, it's Pillow, and he's dead. And as soon as I said that, every conversation on the radio ceased. And there was silence for about 30 seconds. And I realized that I had just told everybody in the operation that we had just taken our first casualty. We had just lost our first soldier. 